So what are the ingredients of today's recipe? It's very interesting. If you're a vegan, what you can do is you can uh, minus out the chicken and you can cook it as I'm cooking it. And if you like chicken and if you can actually enjoy it, so this is how you'll follow it A to Z. So we need some black lentil. What I did was I took some lentil and I soaked in water for half an hour. So all the water has been absorbed by the dry lentil. Then what I did was I took some kidney beans, they're dried and I soaked it in water for half an hour and it's over here. So what we'll do is this recipe will be cooked in three different ways. What we'll do is we shall put the lentils, the dal, uh, in a pressure cooker and pressure cook it for like 15 to 20 minutes. On the other hand, what we'll do is we'll put some spices on the chicken legs and char grill them or grill them open fire over there. And then we shall make the masala and incorporate all the three things together and serve it to you. So what are the ingredients of today's recipe? We'll start from the vegetables. We need some tomatoes, we need some coriander, we need around two onions finely chopped. Then you will need ginger and garlic. These are the other two vegetables. Then you need some black lentil. You need some kidney beans. You need red chilli powder. Not too much, a bit. We're cooking for six people, so the amount of red chilli we're using will be distributed equally between everyone and it won't be that spicy. Then you need some garam masala, but that shall go towards the end because it's, uh, what you can say, the more you cook garam masala, the stronger it gets and it puts down the other flavours. Then you need some cumin powder, coriander powder. You need salt to taste. You need turmeric powder. So what I'll do for this recipe today, I won't be using cumin powder. Why? Because if you shall temper the cumin seeds which I'm using instead of the cumin powder, it will bring out the flavour even better. And then you need half a kilo of chicken legs. If you want to replace it with white meat, that is uh, breast pieces of chicken, you can do that also. Apart from that, you need some uh, Ghee. Ghee is known as clarified butter. I'm telling you ghee. Why? Because when you go outside or if you find a Pakistani store anywhere, you can ask them for ghee. If not, then you can tell them clarified butter also. And then you need some tamarind paste, around four tablespoons. The first thing what we'll do is we shall uh, we should put some masala, we should put some spice or we should marinate the chicken and keep it on the side and then we should grill it. Ideally what you should do is marinate the chicken.